What's up, you guys? So if you've been keeping up with Real Housewives of Atlanta and Real Housewives of Potomac, you know that there have been some crossover between the two shows. I'm talking about Portia Williams addressing the altercation between Monique Samuels and Candace Dillard Bassett on the new Bravo show, Bravo's Chat Room. Monique Samuels and Portia Williams seem to have forged some type of friendship and after Monique Samuels got into the altercation with Candace Dillard last Christmas she actually went on vacation with Portia Williams and her family to Mexico shortly after that altercation and they seem to have formed some type of bond. Like when Monique posted her, she said there's something about spending actual quality time versus posting pics on social media that look as if you're enjoying your vacay. We enjoyed our family time during the day and the glam moms allowed us to enjoy some adult time at night. Great conversation, laughs and realness. No judgment or trying to outdo each other for camera time. Just real quality time between people who have been blessed with opportunities while understanding the sacrifices made for the position we're in. It's not always easy, which is why it's even more appreciated when you're surrounded by like-minded people. No stage photos. We took these as we headed out to the airport. Love my sis and fellow Bravo baddie at Porsche for real. Hashtag Cozumel, hashtag family vacay. And she posted this 51 weeks ago. So just about a year ago, like I said, right after she got in the altercation with Candace. And so because of their bond, Portia has been on that Bravo show, Bravo chat room, defending Monique and defending Monique's position in the altercation with Candace and even accusing Candace of a money grab. Like Monique has accused Candace of an alleged money grab. And so has Portia on that show. So let's get into what Candace had to say about Portia's comments defending Monique in the whole situation. I hesitated every day thinking about whether or not I should go forward with, with charges. Um, I never pursued civil uh, action, and that's a, a misconception. I think um, Portia, sounding less than smart as she is, was on chat room the other night claiming that I, um, I tried to sue her to get the down payment for my house. And it's like this coming from, don't, doesn't she rent? Like you should probably ask your friend for money. I don't need to sue anyone for money. Are you shocked at Portia? Cause I mean, I think she said something else in the past too. Like that she, she said, said a this, lot. Yeah, yeah. Like so that she's vocally, speaking out in favor of Monique or whatever in favor of means. Yeah. No, I think if, if it were, I'm surprised, but I'm not, you know, people are going to operate, you know, within their realm of understanding and they're going to operate, you know, within their, their realm of common sense and sense and education. I, I don't expect a whole lot from Portia. She's doing great things you know, for the Black Lives Matter movement, and that's all wonderful. But I, I, don't, I think that she has proven herself to be someone who we don't expect much from in the way of common sense. So I don't expect her to, you know, question what she's being told by a clear liar. I expect her to just, you know, say, okay, that, that sounds good, girl, <laughs> and just go with it. And that, that brand has worked for her for so many years. Very good. Good for you. You would just think on like a platform like Bravo chat room, you know, it's not house, you know, like you're on housewives. That's one thing. Right. Now you're like chosen by Bravo as one of four women mm -hmm. to really speak on all the different issues and shows. I don't know. Yeah. You would just think like whether you agree with something or not, like I don't speak on this podcast until I really yeah, into have things. vetted and, you know, ensured. Right. But you're also, as a lawyer, I think that's something that is in, embedded and instilled in you. But yes. I'm not a lawyer. And just common sense would, would tell you to, to, to vet certain things and to not be so vehemently loud and wrong. And she that, that's the, the bed she's chosen to lay in. And you know, that's what they do over there in Stupidville. I, I have, there's not, I can't do anything about it. 
All right, you guys. So that's what Candace had to say that she never actually filed civil charges and civil charges is where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money resides is in the civil charges in a civil suit. And she never actually filed a civil suit. So that's what she's saying from from her perspective. But her lawyer did threaten a civil suit. And that's what Monique posted on her social media. She posted after I had the meeting with my pastor, I received this email. My attorney advised that I only speak to Candace with him present. We asked several times for a mediation sit down and she and her attorney refused. She didn't want to hear an apology. She wanted my money. Hashtag RHOP. And so this is a letter from the attorney. And it says, hello, Mrs. Samuels, our law firm represent Mrs. Candace Dillard Bassett. We have been retained in connection with the assault and incident that occurred last week during filming. It is imperative that you and or a representative give our office a call immediately. If we do not hear from you, we will proceed with civil action in court as well as file a complaint. I can be reached at the number below or call this number cell phone. We reserve all rights of our client. Best regards. And then Monique typed on it civil action, meaning money. And then number two, file a complaint. So Monique has been trying to say that the whole situation with Candace filing a lawsuit was a money grab. Even though Candace didn't actually file the civil suit, she's saying that it was a money grab. And Candace is pointing out that she never filed a civil suit like she pressed charges, but she never actually filed a civil suit. So it's like both of these ladies are kind of like leaving out important things. Monique is saying this is a money grab and, and she wanted money and she's leaving out the fact that she never actually filed the civil suit. And then Candace is saying that, you know, it wasn't a money grab because I didn't file a civil suit, but she's leaving out that her lawyer did threaten a civil suit. So I just want to bring you guys a full picture. I want to give you guys both sides of the story. So there it is. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. As always, thanks for watching.